Hey everybody, Erica Serwin here from Pink Bucker Designs, and I am going to show you how to make this adorable little 3D truck. This is a new die in the 2019-2020 Stampin' Up! Annual Catalog, and quite honestly, I fell in love with it. It was the thing that stood out the most to me, and I couldn't wait to get my hands on it. So I'm going to show you how to Put the truck together how to color it how to stamp it the first time i did it i made a couple of mistakes so i thought i would uh, make a video to show you and hopefully prevent you from making those mistakes now this die comes um like this and then there's a stamp set that goes with it you can get them together and save 10 percent uh, I have two other videos uh, showing you how to use this cute little truck, so make sure you check those out. And um, there are the dies here that coordinate, but right now we're gonna use this to cut out the truck. We're also going to use these two to cut out the tires, so we'll get those off. And these to cut off, <clears throat> to cut out the, mm, I don't know, car parts, maybe it's called a fender. <laughs> and this part for the bumper and the balloons. These parts are for the fun little things that you can um, you can also add to the back. All right, so let's do all of our stamping. That way we can do the big shot, the die cutting work all at the same time. Um, I'm just gonna do the balloons and I am using Memento Black because I'm gonna color with Stampin' Blends. We're gonna stamp the tire four times. One, two, three, Four. and then we're just gonna cut out with the matching dies. Now I think this would be a really cute table favor for a party, little table decorations. You could put candy in the back, you can make a little box of goodies to put in the back. Lots of options. Well, I did forget to stamp the fender, so let's do that. I think that I can get them on here. This is how this piece goes. This is a um, four and a half by six inch piece of real red. And we'll stamp these right here because we're gonna cut those out too. So you can get two trucks from, I believe, one piece of cardstock. Okay, here we go. So let's put this on here and we'll move it down. We'll see if we can get the tires on here as well may not be able to get it all at the same time but we can always try these are the the little i'm only cutting these out for the back you could also cut them out for the front we're gonna have to wait on that one since it's just jumping around we'll do that bumper right there and of course the colors are endless as are the possibilities for coloring i have a post on my blog if you're wondering about different ways to color there really are lots of different ways that you could color this. Um, but right now we're just gonna do it on colored cardstock. That way we don't have to cut it out or to color it. All right, we've got our piece there. Now I'm gonna break this off so we can hopefully get more on here. Let's put this here. Now when you're little, if you're using a magnetic platform and your little dies jump around, just move the paper to where the dies wanna go. That's why sometimes if they're all loaded on a big sheet and they're jumping around, you have to do them separately because they won't all stay in the same spot. All right, there we go. We've got two tire dies, luckily. It comes with two tire dies, so you don't have to cut them one at a time. You can actually cut them out two at a time. And we'll do this, and I think we'll be ready to assemble our truck. We're gonna do some stamping. There's lots of little um, stamps that go with the truck that you can cut out. Okay, one more swipe through and we'll be ready. All right, here we go. So now, these dies are small, so you wanna make sure you get them all back into where they go because they're very easy to lose. Ask me how I know. Okay. Now that we have all the pieces cut out, let's bring over this truck piece and we're gonna do some stamping on it. Now I'm gonna just stick with my Memento Black. 
I'm going to take that same fender um, and I'm just going to stamp it on the front right here. Here's the tire where the tire is going to go. There's one and we've got two of them actually because they face different directions. We'll put that one. Goodness, Charlie just wants to be on the video today. My schnauzer can't keep him quiet. All right, now the windows, you'll see how they face different directions. There's two of them. So make sure that you are looking where you're stamping and you don't want to stamp your window backwards. That was one of the things I ran into in the beginning when I was making this as I was stamping things backwards. This one specifically I stamped backwards. This is the front with the little lights and the bumper there. I stamped it upside down when I did it the first time. All right, now here's the back window. So that's gonna go, hopefully you guys can still see. I'm trying to get it where I can see it. And I don't wanna stick my head in the camera. All right, the last one is the front window. Okay, oh, there's one more. Let's put, I love stamping on the back. That's so cute. Now, you really do have to do your stamping before you start assembling. There is truly no way to stamp after you've assembled. So make sure you do that before you start putting it together. Now I'm gonna use a white watercolor pencil to color in the windows. You can actually just leave it like this or you can take your aqua painter and go in and color it all in. Um, when you do the aqua painter, it lightens it a little bit, but it also blends it so that you don't have these lines. And I'll show you in just a second after I finish up coloring all the windows. All right, now I'm just gonna take my aqua painter and I make sure to wipe it off on a paper towel so that it's not very wet at all. I just want it a little bit wet so I can smooth out that white ink. I need to go slowly, make sure I stay in those lines. You could also use a blender pen. That would work. Or, you know, you could just leave it. I think it looks fine uh, without really needing to, to do this too much to it. All right, now once you have all of those um, windows colored in, I also did the lights. I'm gonna take my dark real red stamp and blend and I'm gonna go around behind the fender here to give it a shadow. I'm gonna do this one over here too. That's gonna help it kind of pop out a little bit. And then I'm gonna take my Smoky Slate Dark and color in the door handles like that. And let's see, is there anything else we need to color before we start to assemble? Oh yes, let's do this right here. These, the little grill. And we'll glue on our fender I mean our bumper right there. We'll do that after we assemble it. All right, so once you have everything colored and ready, you're gonna wanna take your bone folder and really spend some time folding in crisply all the pre-scored lines. And it's gonna take some time, but I promise this is important and you wanna make sure that you get all of them scored. Also the little flaps on the edge, right here, these tabs. This is gonna be the, the way that we glue it together. All right, so we get all of those. Here's some little ones right here, right there, right there, and then we've got some up here.
Okay. Now, let's see. Oh, I got to get the sides too. I didn't get those. Let's make sure we get them all. That, the, if you really spend some time um, folding these guys in sharply and crisp, crisply, it will go together much easier. Now, I'm going to use Tombow liquid glue as it is strong. It's also a little bit forgiving. All right, and a little bit goes a long way. So I'm just gonna start there, and I'm gonna fold this down, matching these windows, and I'm gonna put that right there, and then slide this one right there. Now once you get it in place, you can kind of slide them around so that they are matching edges to edges, holding it so that it stays, and then come over here and do the other one. All right, so we've started with a front. Let's give that a second to really stick together. And now let's do these right here, these tiny little tabs. We'll add some here. Well, I think we'll do these first. I don't want that glue to dry. All right, so let's do those. So fold those in and bring this down. Stick those your finger inside and really press that in. Now we're gonna do the bed of the truck. You can see how that's gonna to go together. And it goes down the, a little bit so that the edge of the bed sticks up right there. See how that goes? All right, so uh-oh, I pulled that, popped that one out. We may need to add a little bit more adhesive there. Let's see, we're gonna put a little bit here and a little bit here, here, and here. All right, let's see. Now, I'm gonna really just hold these down for a second or 20 <laughs> to make sure that they stay in place. And I've really been spending some time brainstorming about what could we put in the back of this truck. I think Hershey Kisses would be really cute. Dove chocolates. I've seen um, on Pinterest some people making little brown boxes and using our Stampin' Up! washi tape so it looks like a big Stampin' Up! delivery box. All right, I think we are good. Look at that, how adorable. Uh-oh, not good, not good. If you have little clothes pens, you can stick those there to help it stay dry. And I think we're ready to finish up and add all the little pieces. All right, while you're waiting for your truck to dry, you can decide on what accessories you want to add. I'm gonna just do some birthday balloons. I was kind of thinking this would make a fun little birthday party favor. So Daffodil Delight, and of course we'll go back with a real red balloon. And I am using my Stampin' Blends, which are my preferred method of coloring these days. This one is a dark balmy blue. I'm not really gonna do any shading. I'm just gonna use one color. And last but not least, Call Me Clover. One thing that you can do with your balloons is go back with the color remover and just kind of follow that shine line right there to remove some of that. Whoops, I just added some red. Don't go directly to your yellow after you do the red, but that's okay. <laughs> we'll just remove it with a color remover. There we go. All right. Now I'm going to also take my smoky slate and color in the center of my cute little tires right here. One more. And we've got these right here. And let's start with this side. I'm gonna add just a dot of glue right there and right there. And I'm gonna put these to match that shape that's already there. Right now, this fender I'm going to put on with dimensionals because I want it to pop out. All right, little mini dimensionals here. Let's 
see, do I have the wrong? Mm, I'm looking at mine, trying to decide. Yep, I think I have the wrong one. You car experts out there, I'm sure you're like knowing exactly how these pieces go, but please forgive me if mine are not quite right. Look at that, isn't that so cute? Okay, let's do the other side. One tire, two tires, and of course, the little fender. And last but not least, let's put our balloons in the back. And we're going to just add a little bit of glue. And I'm gonna slide it in while well, I put my glue up a little bit too high. But I think you can slide it down in there. There we go. And there they are, flying out the back. And there's your little truck. It does take some work and some patience. Forgot to add our little bumper, so let's add that on with a little bit of Tombow. I love the silver foil. It just makes that look really cool. All right, there you go. Now, you guys, I challenge you to look online to see there's lots of different variations of this truck, lots of different kinds of trucks that you can make. And remember, you can do different colors, all kinds of things. So check it out. Um, you can click on the link here on the video to go over to my blog and you'll find a PDF that has all the directions for or all the products listed for this project as well as two more Ride With Me trucks, uh, truck projects. I hope you like it and I hope you'll check it out. Thanks so much you guys. Have a great day. Bye-bye.